Dina, how are you guys doing tonight? Good? I'm not doing good. Um, yeah, I was recently in a really bad car crash. It's a true story. It sucked. It was after a really good date. I was with this guy. I had just started dating. We were on our way back to my place, not to brag. We stopped at a red light and we got rear-ended at 40 miles an hour. Both cars were completely totaled. We got pushed all the way across the intersection, across four lanes of traffic. But the worst part of the whole crash is that right before it, I had been holding in a fart. <laughs> and on impact, I let it rip. It was a new relationship. I had never farted in front of this guy before. But then I looked over and he was dead and I was like, thank God. <laughs> We were not there yet. <laughs> I'm kidding, you guys. He didn't die. The rest of the story is completely true. I'm Jewish. I have IBS. But he didn't die. He did not have a car after that and couldn't afford a new one. So dead to me. But <laughs> not going to date a guy without a car. Ew. <laughs> Look at me. No way. Give it up for Jeremy, though. He did save my life that night. He deserves... Yeah, totally, totally steered us into the crash. It was amazing. I think good driving is so hot. Anyone else? Yeah. I'm dating again, because obviously I dumped him. So I'm dating again, and if a guy drives me home from a date, I base whether or not I'm going to sleep with him solely based on how many times he turns the wheel to parallel park. Like... If he can do it in one swoop, we're fucking. But if he's like, beep, 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 like, no, take me out on another date. Buy me something pretty. <laughs> if he can do it without a backup cam, I'll let him come on my face. <laughs> credit where credit is due, am I right? <laughs> I'm a preschool teacher. <laughs> I am, I can code switch, okay? <laughs> I'm an actor. Yeah, uh, I am. I, th I like teaching preschool. I think it's made me better at dating because I realize that talking to grown straight men is the same as talking to two-year-olds. Like, I went out with my guy friends in Santa Monica last week, and after the bars, they were like, we should jump in the ocean right now. And I was like, no, Danny, look at the sky. Do you see a sun in the sky? No. Did you bring a towel? No. You're gonna have to put your wet feet back into your Jordans. You're not gonna like that. You stood in line for those shoes. <laughs> It's a concept that we teach at my preschool. It's called natural consequences. So natural consequences is a concept that toddlers and grown men really struggle with. My school, it's very hippy-dippy. We don't believe in timeouts. Instead, we teach them that their actions have consequences. So we say, like, if you climb up onto something high, you can fall down and hurt yourself. Or if you don't sit down during snack time, you might get hungry later and there won't be anything left to eat. Natural consequences is a concept that I teach every single day, and yet I can't learn that if I date a DJ with a DUI, I'm gonna get chlamydia. <laughs> they say those who can't do teach, am I right? <laughs> How many DJs has she dated? Three. <laughs> it's rough. I am working on myself, I'm in therapy. Um, last week, my therapist told me that I need to access my more compassionate side and abandon my more judgmental side. And I was like, wow, Amy, that is the most professional way anyone has ever told me to stop being a bitch. <laughs> but I can't help it. Like, it's who I am. I have this coworker, we'll call her Emily, because that's her name. And she's just like... She's like nails on a chalkboard personified. Does anyone have a coworker who it's just like, you just fucking snap at them all the time? Anyone? Anyone? Show of hands. Okay, who is it? What's their name? Oh, it's your friend that you brought to the show? 
you hate, is this like exposure therapy right now? Like, okay, let's go to a comedy show, then maybe I'll hate you less. Okay, uh, what does he do that, what does he do that really pisses you off at work? You own a business together, perfect. Okay, so, sorry, what does he do that's annoying? Every single way that he would approach a problem, she approaches it differently. It's great that you guys started a business together. That was a really good idea. Okay, so I'm gonna give you, what's his name? Daniel. Daniel, okay. So I'm gonna give you advice that my therapist gave me. So my therapist told me every time Emily annoys me, and you can do this with Daniel, I'm supposed to tell myself inside my head that she's autistic. <laughs> She's not autistic, but I'm supposed to tell myself that she is autistic. That way, every time she annoys me, I can be like, she's not being annoying, she's just being autistic. Do you think you can do that with Daniel? <laughs> I can't wait. I'm gonna buy stocks in your company now. All right, I'm just gonna tell you guys real quick how I lost my virginity, and then I'll get off the stage. Is that, does that sound like a good plan? Okay, so I used to have a fantasy of what it would be like to lose my virginity. And then every year that I didn't lose it, my standards dropped a little bit. So at first I was like, he's going to be this boyfriend that I'm in love with. And then that didn't happen. So I'm like, okay, he doesn't need to be my boyfriend. Like, we don't need the labels, but I want to be in love with him. And then that didn't happen. So I'm like, okay, we don't have to be in love. I just want a guy who cares about me. And then that didn't happen. I'm like, okay. He doesn't have to care about me, he just has to be mentally stable. And then that didn't happen. So I'm like, he doesn't have to be mentally stable, he just has to not be addicted to cocaine. And then that did not happen. So I was like, you know what? Raul is fine. And he took my flower. Thanks guys, I'm Taylor P. Miller. Give it up for Taylor guys and her IBS.